Today we are playing with all rounder Wanda. She is on a standard control build with high speed and high effectiveness. She is also on the bomb artifact, so let's take her into Guild Wars and let's have some fun. First one here, we're gonna keep it pretty simple. We got Amelia, ML Celine, and an RB. We're gonna push up the ML Celine. We're gonna S3, so then she's gonna counter freaking everything that comes at her. It should not be a problem at all. At least I freaking hope not, right? But let's just see how this plays out because I can't counter the landy, which is gonna be a problem. But I'm gonna counter the crap out of this Bellion, right? Because the Bellion is forced to AoE. That's why why I think uh, ML Celine does a very good job uh, fighting against her. Although she is provoked. Can we dust level? I need to heal up a little bit. Oh, I think we should be okay because she does have immortality. So the Aravi won't be able to kill my ML Celine. Harvey has immortality. I was like, how are you alive, dude? <laughs> but uh, that's the reason why, right? He has immortality from the ML Celine's uh, S3. Now, this Aravi will hit into my ML Celine, which means that, well, first of all, she can't die, but she's also going to counter and just rip her freaking face off. Can we dust level and finish her off? Yes, we can. Is this gonna... I, either she's gonna have like one health or she's dead. Yeah, she's dead. Awesome. Let's do with the RB here. We did not gab because we're trash. Yep. That's just normal. Miss on the ML Celine. RB, you ruined everything. You... Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just push up the RB here so we can get a move again. We don't need to push the ML Celine because she's gonna move anyways. Yeah, she moved anyways. As you can see. Can we dust level? Yep, we can. And that's a bop. That's a kill. And RB gabs. Okay. And she's alive, but she's dead. <laughs> all right let's move on to the next one now so here we go we got cerise wanda and cesaria now i wanted to fight this team because there's a freaking violet here and um this wanda is supposed to be like the violet killer i actually should have s no i have to s3 because i need cesaria's thing this is why i did not want to s3 because rem is gonna pop off so I, I need this bomb to land on the stupid Rem, please. Yes, that is a bomb on Rem. Good. So now we're going to S3 on this Violet. This is a two-turn stun, and she should hit, right? There's no reason she would miss, because she has 70% chance of hitting this Rem. I have to stun her, dude. I have to, like, stop her from doing freaking things, man. But first of all, we need to land a bomb on this guy, girl. I mean, can you stop countering, dude? Just... Okay, I need to do this. Okay, do not counter me. Don't counter me and just stun. Just take the freaking stun rem, please. Okay, thank you for not countering me. Now let's land some attacks on the rem. Everybody is on the bomb artifact, okay? So we do have a good chance of landing bombs on everybody. Please, please. Okay, there's a bomb. So now she's going to be stunned up. Now I can't push back with Wanda's S1 because everybody has a restrict on them. I'm just going to keep landing bombs on this rem. I need the rem to die first. I can't let her die second because well how the world works right actually i sh should I have done that that's too late i already did it we did get the stun though which is nice let's add more bombs on rem okay and uh like i said we can't push back but we can keep landing bombs more bombs please more bombs please <laughs> we're gonna stun her up we're gonna waste this two turn stun on her because i can't have her uh counter me i do not want these counters popping off on me let's throw this on him we need him to have a bomb thank you and uh we have to s3 here i think this area has taken enough turns so where she's gonna proc again right please do please do there we go dude did we get one on armin we did not that's okay though that's okay oh crap they're not going to take damage from the bombs and they're not going to get stunned dude that's a huge problem that actually that is a very very big problem we're gonna hope that she gets a dual attack with the cesarea so the cesarea can strip please we need to strip something dude we need to we need to, we need to strip we need to, we need it we need it thank you what a beast dude so now she well she already had a two turn stun that didn't that didn't matter that didn't matter at all but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We need to strip his though. Can we get a dual attack with Cesaria for the strip? No, we can't. Okay. So we'll just avoid attacking uh, Violet. Hopefully he blows up, right? Unless my uh, Wanda has an S3, then we'll be okay. But let's just land some more bombs on Armin. Dude, there are so many bombs here right now. This is pretty much the greatest thing ever, right? <laughs> God, man. Okay, now we can S3. Because of Wanda's buff, she actually strips on her S3, right? Well, she reduces turn by one, and he has a two-turn immunity. I mean, one-turn immunity. That way, it took it down, dude. So, we're good to go, man. This team is so fun to play with. Like, I love playing control teams because they just ruin everybody's day. Like, I could blow it up, but I really don't need to. Do I need to? Can I land more bombs? Give me another bomb, Cerise, please. And then we'll let uh, Cesaria blow it up. Uh, oh, oh, nope, nope, never mind. He's dead. <laughs> and on a side note, if you're enjoying this, and this is your second or even third video of mine you've seen, and you're not subscribed, 
why not hit that button? It'd really mean a lot to me. This should be pretty freaking simple. We're gonna S3 with the Mui. Uh, nobody's gonna counter me because she doesn't have a buff on her. Uh, the, what I need here is the attack buff. That's what I want more than anything. So the problem here is that my Sermia was supposed to move first. I needed the Sermia to kill the Rimuru before my secret move. But because that is not the case, we're just going to have to do this. And there's no way around it, right? So we can kill her. Hopefully he doesn't because he's gonna push above my Sermia. We just have to hope. Oh, he didn't push above my Sermia. I think the reason for that is because my Sermia actually has Azure Comet. So she pushed her own CR, which then let the Rimuru, well, not let the Rimuru, prevented the Rimuru from cutting, which I guess the Azure Comet pretty much saved my butt. <laughs> but I think the Rimuru would have attacked into my cigarette anyways, which um, is fine because I don't need my cigarette anymore. She did her job and that's all there is to it, right? Is she dead? Heck yeah, dude. Now we're going with the same team again here because this team is just so good. It's so good and it's so fun to play with. The only downside to it is that she does put out the restrict, which then kind of negates Wanda's S1. It makes it so that, you know, she's not able to do her thingy dingy. So we're going to try to throw out the two-turn stun on the Ruel because the Ruel is the one with the cleanse. Can ooh resist it? That's, that's no bueno, man. No freaking bueno. So of course, we're going to have to try to land this. Whoa, resisted. I have pretty high effectiveness. Apparently, that's not good enough. We're gonna have to S3 here. We need to stomp the crowd and a Ravi. This is going to be a huge problem now because she's going to cleanse somebody. I'm gonna have to hope it's not the Ravi. Looks like the crowd does have lower HP, so please cleanse the crowd. Thank you. Now let's S2 on the Ruel. Hopefully we can land this, please. Can you? Thank you. Okay, man. Your resistance is pretty good, but we got past it. Now, because the crowd got cleansed, he doesn't have the restrict on him. So I can actually push him back with the Wanda, which is pretty nice. Now, we need another bomb on the Ruel. If we can get another bomb on her, that means we're going to lock her down for two turns, which we did. We're going to try to land a bomb on the Ravi here. A hey, Ravi, we did. The reason I use Cesarea to land the bomb on Ravi instead of uh, Cerise is because my Cesarea is much tankier. So she would have had a better chance of surviving if the A Ravi would have uh, countered me. So let's just throw another bomb on the A Ravi, please. It looks like she is not on Timeless Anchor or anything, which is very freaking good to me, for me, to me, for me, yep. And because the Ruel has a bomb on her already and she's not moving the next turn, we're gonna use our two-turn stun on the A Ravi here. Um, it is kind of a waste to the bombs, but it's whatever, right? We just need to survive. We're not gonna nitpick about what's more efficient at this moment. We can when we're in a better spot, which I think we're in a pretty good spot right now, which, you know, it's pretty pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. We got a bomb on the Krow. Krow has a bomb on him. Everybody has freaking bombs. Nobody is going to have a good day right now, right? Now, because Krow is actually going to be able to take a turn, we're going to stun the Krow. Hopefully, we land it. Resisted both of them. That's fine. He's just going to sword me. I'm not that worried about it. So, we need another bomb on Krow. So, he's got two bombs. He's not moving. He's definitely not moving anytime soon. Ravi's not going to be moving anytime soon. Nobody is moving anytime soon. We're going to completely lock down this entire team, right? If so someone has a one-turn bomb on them, you just gotta land another bomb, give them a two-turn bomb, which uh, we still need to do right now. Yeah, we still need to do that. Can we get a bomb? There's another bomb. She's locked down. The Ravi's gonna be locked down as well. Let's just uh, give her another one. So she has two. Oh, she is on Crimson Seed. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. That's not good. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, but let's S3 here. This uh, should be okay, right? Does my Cesaria have her bombs back up again? I think she should. She's taken quite a few turns. Oh, crap. Okay, I'm invincible. That's fine. But she does heal up, which I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> but let's uh, let's give Ravi the stuns again. Hopefully, uh, we do land it if she doesn't Crimson Seed anything. She did not. Crimson Seed only works once per turn. Now, let's land another bomb on the Ruel to guarantee she does not ever move, which I was not able to. Can we get a bomb? I don't need a stun. I feel like it might be a waste if I use it, so... I'm not uh, worried about because she's got stun the next turn. I'm just locking her down for the next turn after that, which uh, we can. Oh, wait, she does have a bomb on her. Does she have a bomb? She has so many bombs. So we're just going to keep attacking the Ravi here. Hopefully she doesn't Crimson Seed the stun. That's the one thing I do not want her to do. But I think we can uh, do something pretty fun here. Let's Soul Burn here, land a bomb on her. There we go. We're going to Soul Burn again, land another bomb on her. There we go. She Crimson Seeded something, but we don't care. We're gonna land another bomb on her. Just fill her up with freaking bombs. This A Ravi is not gonna have a good time. And we even have her stun back up again, which I don't need to use because she's she's freaking stunned. Yeah, come on, I need another bomb, dude. Yeah, we don't need a bomb. Let's just uh, detonate this and uh, kill the freaking Ravi, right? There's no way she survives this. This is four bombs. 
<laughs> now for this last one, I switched up a little bit and I brought Lydica instead of the Cerise. The reason for that is because the Rowana here is going to benefit every time Cerise attacks. So we're going to start out with the S2 here so we can strip the A Ravi. The A Ravi is on Strax Gauntlet. And we still got the strip. Oh my god, the rem, rem, rem. Please, just, just stop for now. Please, dude. I don't need your crap, man. So we're going to use the two-turn stun on the rem. We have to land this. If we don't land this, we're going to be kind of screwed, right? Oh my god. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We just have to land this. Okay, we're going to have to detonate this. We cannot let the rem move. We can't let the Rem move. The Rem is the biggest threat. And the A Ravi as well. I think the A Ravi is going to be pretty spooky. I don't really care about the Rowana, like, at all. Dude, can you just stun and, like, settle the crap down, Rem? Please. So we're just going to S1 here. We just need to do some damage to her so we can get rid of her, right? Um, I don't want to waste her attack, though, because she has a very good chance of landing a bomb. So let's throw that on the A Ravi. We do get the bomb on A Ravi, which is pretty huge. Let's get rid of Rem. Okay, the A... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Please don't kill. I should have S3 for the skill modifier. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. Oh man. That was uh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. For this last fight here, we're just gonna just S3, S3, and S3. It's gonna be pretty simple, right? It's the cool thing. It's what people are doing these days, man. Uh, we are going to crit because we have a 100% crit chance now. Not just 99. We got 100. Okay, no problem. She's dead. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for hanging out with us. And I'll see you guys next time, man. Bye.